What's up everybody, I am Mongoose, you are awesome, and this is a Tainted Magic testing video for Shinbi. When the changes to Tainted Magic were released, I immediately thought of Shinbi. However, as I tried her out, it didn't seem to have much of an effect on her playstyle other than giving her stronger poke potential. I decided to test it out and share the results. The card we'll be testing today is Tainted Magic. Tainted is a 7 cost universal affinity card that has 12 power and 0.3 mana regen. What you're looking for however is the unique passive that grants spell burn on ability hit. Spell burn deals 8% of the target's current health as ability damage over 4 seconds. The spell burn effect does not stack, however, fresh occurrences of ability damage reapply the damage over time effect. What I want to test today is the spell burn snapshot the target's health and deal 8% of that damage at the time applied, or does each tick of spell burn apply the target's present health? Apply to the target's present health. Basically, does spell burn diminish its own returns by dealing damage? I also want to see what the damage difference is between using this card or simply investing those seven points into power. For the testing today, we're going to use one line beat followed by a full cycle of circle rhythm, which does four uh, stacks of, um, of wolves for all kill. Then we'll follow that up with the five stacked all kill. As such. Oh, hey, what's up, Grox? Where'd you come from, buddy? So now let's take a look at it from Bellica's point of view so we can see what kind of damage we did. Here we come with a line beat, does 80 damage. We're going to engage in on her with the circle rhythm. Each tick is doing 47 damage. There's another tick. Another tick. And another one. It's actually it's actually harder to keep people in that than I thought. And some t I've also noticed during this testing, sometimes it just doesn't apply at all, uh, depending on positions. There's... There's some weird things going on with uh, Circle Rhythm right now. I'll be sure to report any bugs that I that I found to Epic. All kill should be coming soon. There it is. Been waiting for you, all kill. Look at those wolves. That's a cool ultimate. Does 58 damage per wolf. For a grand total of 558 damage. Grand total of 500 damage. We're going to do the same combo again, however, I'm going to pause a little bit in between uh, the applications to uh, give Tain and Magic a little bit of time to take effect. Of course, I'm not going to give it all the time in the world to make it take its full duration because you're not going to do that in a real fight, right? So, let's take a look at what it does to Bellica. So that's 79 damage. The um, regular ability damage will be in green. The ticking Tainted Magic damage will be in purple. So that was 12, and then 14 because she had gained health. And then 41 from Circle Rhythm, and then she's take, she keeps taking the ticks, and they're going down. So now we know that it's not dependent upon when it was applied, it's dependent upon their current health. So it does not snapshot. And she does take some minion damage here. I made that in Cyan, and of course did not roll that up into the total numbers. So she's still taking the ticks. Now it's no longer applied. The Tainted Magic is no longer applied. However, all kill will apply Tainted Magic as it is an ability. So 54 damage from each wolf. And she's going to try and back here, but the Tainted Magic ticks are... They're only ticking for 6 right now because she's very low on health. But they are ticking and preventing her from, back to, from backing, which is kind of nice. So let's take a look at the total. Six fifty seven. The total is six fifty seven. So we now know that in this instance, Tainted Magic is a seventeen point seven percent increase in damage. Please keep in mind that there are several variables to consider, such as armor and target health. These numbers are from one unique situation that I was able to recreate using bots. Tainted Magic will not always net you a seventeen point seven percent increase in damage. This video is not meant to convince you one way or the other in the use of this card. I'm simply providing information for you to base an opinion on. 
However, for my Shimbi deck, I've decided that the increase in damage during a kill setup, along with the increased poke damage provided by the card, are enough to warrant it worth the 7 point card point investment. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button and share it with your friends. Click on the mongoose that will be appearing at the bottom of your screen to subscribe. If you have any interest in fan written lore, I did a backstory for Shimbi that you may be interested in. I've linked it in the video description below. For now, this is Mongoose signing off. You guys have a good one.